What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. This is episode number 179 of WWE Turn Alert. With how many turns we've had this year, could we get the 240 end of the year? Don't know about that, but um, definitely in 2021, we'll be hitting 200 episodes of WWE Turn Alert. So we are here now to discuss the turn of um, Tony Storm that happened on this past week's episode of NXT. Um, so Tony Storm, of course was out on hiatus as well as most of pretty much just about almost all of the um british native uh wrestlers in nxt um and of course some of the others you know the main roster from canada and whatnot were out due to the pandemic and travel restrictions and whatnot um for till probably about maybe around SummerSlam. that's when they started to come back um so tony storm had made her nxt return um through um via satellite at NXT TakeOver 31, right before Ember Moon made her NXT um, return after being out for over a year with an Achilles injury and being brought back to NXT rather than staying on Raw and SmackDown. Good choice, Ember. Um, so, uh, obviously, when they came back, I knew it was either going to be Tony Storm or Ember Moon turning heel. Uh, one of them I thought was going to. And I kept leaning towards Tony Storm because it was obvious, it was very obvious right before the pandemic happened that Tony Storm was turning heel. She was teasing it in that match she had with Rhea Ripley at um, Worlds Collide, Royal Rumble weekend. And then, of course, with, you know, just how Kaylee Ray tore her apart in their feud in NXT UK, leading up to that I Quit match um, not long before the pandemic began. Um, obviously, with Kaylee Ray just getting in Tony's head and just, you know, making her, you know, just you know, really having her demons exposed to her was just sending Tony down a different path. That was going to lead to her heel turn. But of course, with the pandemic, things changed. So when they, they brought both Tony and um, Ember back, I was still leaning towards Tony. But for a couple of weeks, they were starting to make me feel like maybe Ember instead. But then this past week on NXT, um, when Tony came to the aid of Ember Moon, when Ember was um, basically in a... Um, too many people on, on one situation um, with Candice LeRae, Raquel Gonzalez, and Dakota Kai. Well, Indy Hartwell got taken out with, with the Eclipse. Um, it looked like Tony Storm came out to be by Ember's side. Well, as Ember and Tony were charging back to the ring and um, Ember leans in, Tony grabs by the legs, pulls her out, decks her, and then slams her into the steps and then feeds her to the wolves. And, of course, she later joined, you know, um, Candice LeRae and her crew in the beatdown on Rhea Ripley later in the show. So, cementing her heel turn. Um, you know, definitely heartbreaking. Again, and think about this, too. Tony Storm has gone through a lot, you know, as, as, over time as well. Besides, you know, her kayfabe, you know, storyline. Well, even dig into her real personal life with her family. The demons that Kaylee Ray exposed about her. And think about this also. Remember when Tony had those photos of her leaked on the internet and people were really harassing her people were definitely got behind her and whatnot so obviously you know a lot of people had a lot of soft spots for for tony storm she is an excellent talented young woman in the ring i i definitely see a lot of bright things in the future which is why i was kind of disappointed they didn't give her a longer run with the uk women's title i mean kaylee ray may not have had it as long um if it weren't for the pandemic i still think tony should have had a much longer reign uh with the women's title just my personal opinion. I still felt that. Um, but obviously having her in NXT, just like, you know, the show where it gets much more attention in NXT UK, which again, NXT UK is fine. I don't have a problem with it. Again, it's just a back burner show that I keep saying. So her being in just NXT may be where she has that longer reign. And um, this heel turn is probably the start for her. Um, as far as, you know, more reasons why, you know, probably more yet to come. I mean, she said we see a different Tony Storm when she got back and you know, she's now starting to, you know, break off those walls and show that other Tony Storm that she's been wanting to show since she came back. Um, again, it could go back to, you know, her story about what happened at the end with her and Kaylee Ray in NXT UK. It could go a completely different route because of the pandemic. Who knows? But um, it's turning out to be Tony time soon in NXT as I'm now thinking she may be the one to dethrone Io Shirai in a rematch, again, a rematch from the finals of the Mae Young Classic. Don't forget about that. So we could be seeing a rematch from the finals of the Mae Young Classic 
Um, maybe it'd be in a 2021 or even sometime in December. Who knows? Um, it could be any year like we did last year with Rhea Ripley dethroning um, Shayna Baszler. It's possible. We'll have to wait and see. So, um, as far as you know, the story behind Tony Storm's heel turn is yet to be determined, but I'm for it. And I can't wait to see what Tony does in this very stacked women's division in the NXT. As I continue to put over how stacked and probably one of the best, probably maybe the best thing right now in NXT is definitely um, that women's division. So that's my thoughts on Tony Storm's heel turn and her being a heel and probably going to be the next champion. I'm going to predict. Uh, you know, I predict that anytime some women makes a makes a big you know face or heel turn um, in NXT. And sometimes it goes that route, sometimes it doesn't. Let's wait and see. So we'll see what, what goes for them as Tony Storm is now a heel and a new Tony Storm has emerged. So, what are your thoughts on Tony Storm's heel turn, guys? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video, subscribe or comment to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at DemandAirborne3. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.